Okay, so I remember this was the last person that we were uh, that we've been running around with because he's our he's our best spy, right? Uh, yeah, we picked the guy with all the good hacking skills and stuff in the last episode because we were going to do going to do a mission that wasn't particularly uh, dangerous. So I think what we should do is every before we go into any other missions, we should see what the mission is and then like decide if we've got the right person because like if we're going into a dangerous mission. We probably don't want to sacrifice this guy. He's pretty That's good. That's true. If we're going into a, yeah, if we're going uh, into like a hacky hacky mission, then this guy is probably the the right choice. Well, what we had unlocked was the burrow mission of Mind Games, which because we had done all the other things in the burrow, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Burrow, burrow. Uh, yeah, the burrow. We say burrow. Well, that's because we burrow. say everything like ooh. Uh. Uh, so yeah, we, we had did. unlocked this. We could do this mission really quick now that we spent the last video unlocking it. I think that's what we promised the audience last time. I so, think so. Uh, yeah. So is this a dangerous mission? Uh, what does it say? So DedSec heard from an informant that Albion has been operating what they call the realignment clinic out of the walkie talk. Uh... Mm it seems no easy. i don't i don't think it is yeah i think we're okay with the guy we've got if i recall if if i'm about to be proved wrong then i apologize but uh yeah i think we'll be okay yeah i think we'll be okay because because the walkie-talkie you don't encounter any enemies in there so if that's where we're going the walkie-talkie building then um we should be okay James, okay. you, I'm turning around. Been... Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is the wrong way. Also, <laughs> have you been? Where's... Have you been? Have you been practicing your driving since we last? Uh, no, nope, just just practicing my drinking. And I'm doing <laughs> yeah, good. Clearly. Uh, why is my? Where's my? Uh, blue arrows. Well, you didn't. Um, you need to set your destination on the map. Oh, so I thought I did when up. I selected... Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think I'm almost there anyways. I was just surprised it was gone. Sorry, buddy. Wow. Oh, come you on. Were at, you, were, you weren't even... You were actually moving away from the guy, and you stared into him to try and avoid him. Whoa. Why Why are you staying... Just drive... Just just, just drive go, into that guy? Go. That guy's got a machine gun. Right, you've got have you you got the you got the Albion after you now, right? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just just drive off the edge of the cliff. I think Fine. maybe I'll <laughs> okay. If you think that's a good idea. <laughs> oh. I didn't say it was a good idea. I said it. I said drive. You know, might make for some good uh, entertainment. Is that where you're going up there? I guess so. Right. So why did you go off the edge of the thing? Because I couldn't drive there anyways. Okay. Oh. But this isn't the walkie-talkie. I don't know where... Oh. We're just meeting some informant at the moment. I think you need to get up there. I think it's like a I bar. I can't just meet him maybe. through the spy bot? No. People generally don't talk to spider robots. They generally talk to people. All right. Uh, all right. All right. So I should have stayed up there is what you're saying. Uh, the TLDR of it is yes, you probably probably shouldn't have gone. But there the was I wasn't the only. Uh, okay, well I think I've got a little. This won't be too hard. There was a guy with a machine gun in the. Oh, there they are again. Can I just walk past these yeah. people? Yeah, you. Well, you've upset him, so you should run away. Um, you can intervene, so you can like distract him, like the guard and the guy will run away. But he's handcuffed, so you'd have to uncuff him, and then they would start shooting at you. And they're pissed off with you now, anyway. So you should just. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to this guy. I think this should that be fine. Be that guy will forget about it. Whatever I did to him, I'm sure he'll forgive me. Hey, you're looking for dead sec. Right. Now you've triggered a cutscene. You should be okay. Yeah. Albion runs this clinic called a realignment center. Runs some dodgy experiments out of there. What do you mean? They mess with people's brains. Had a mate who'd take the piss out of Albion every chance he had. Came out of there a different bloke. Week later, he was dead. Killed himself. 
Well, that's grim. <laughs> what was that? Well, he killed himself. Yeah. I can't remember this mission. I'm sure I must have done it, but I don't remember it very well. I think that was my car blowing up. Oh, really? <laughs> I just heard an explosion, didn't you? Uh, I don't, yeah, your car doesn't look like it's exploded. All right, time Although these guys the are still, yeah, these, these guys are still in a bad mood, so maybe they blew something up, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, the Should the I let these guys club. free? The police will be pissed with you if you do. But they're not even around. The, there's three of them right there. You can try it. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is probably really risky. It's not the wisest thing. But, but I think I got away with it. Yeah, you seem to have done so. So well done. There you go. Whew. I bet it, it do, you've done your civil duty for the day, James. Yeah, that makes up for the guy on the bike. Oh, and you managed to recruit somebody by doing that, so uh, well done. Wow. So this is the walkie-talkie club? Yeah, so the walkie-talkie... Well, this is the building that's called the walkie-talkie. Oh, is this in real life? -talkie. It's there in real life. The reason it's called the walkie-talkie is if you go back outside again and look at it from the outside... Yeah. Uh, you'll see that it's kind of shaped like a walkie-talkie, you know, like a handheld uh, radio. I mean, I kind of think all buildings are kind of shaped like a walkie-talkie. Oh, no, but you see what I mean. It's literally shaped oh, okay. like a walkie-talkie. It's like round. and It's kind of got a parabolic shape to it. And when it was first built, interesting fact for you, if you, if you, look, if you look behind you, there's like a little um, side street uh, there on your right. My right? Uh, that right? Yeah, there. This one? Yeah, you see that? So you see this little side street with the bollards in front of it. Yeah. Now, when oh. this building was first, yeah. So when this building was first built, when the sun was shining on it at a particular time of day, it was beaming a, like a ray of light onto this little side street, and it was like setting cars on fire. <gasps> You're kidding me. Nope. Real, real. You Google it. It's on. It's on this video. Wow. Like. Yeah, so the design of it, because it's because it's got this curved shape, it was reflecting the sun. It was like a magnifying glass, almost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder how long it took them to figure out. I guess they figured it out pretty quick because there was the giant beam of light going down on them. Yeah, and the fires and things. Yeah, I mean, what they they changed the coating of the windows or they did something to fix it and it's fine now. But yeah, when it was first built, it was a bit of a fire hazard. Somewhere between midday and two o'clock, it got a bit flamey. Uh, I wonder who had to pay for that mistake. <laughs> oh, the developers, I imagine. They actually closed the road off and, until it was fixed, um, so no one could go on that street while they were fixing it. It was weird. Did anybody get like? What? Did anybody get like spontaneously combusted as they walked down the street? Like really uh, bad sunburns. I don't think any people set on fire. I think one of the barber shops on that road caught fire and a few cars that were parked on the street caught fire um but i don't think anybody was hurt but they could have been i mean if they stood there long enough i guess <laughs> i mean i don't know um Get so yeah, I remember... yeah exactly why pay this... for a tanning salon is this guy gonna try to stop me from going in the vip area i don't think so but i also know that you don't have to go in there I think you've potentially eyed up where you need to go. I think so. Yes. Yes. This seems pretty normal. Nobody seems to be even bothered by me. Well, everybody's drunk, so, you know. All right. So we uh, we said in the last episode that we were going to try and uh, you know do this more often and do more of them uh, more often and then we uh, completely failed to uh, keep that promise. Um, oh, it's been pretty bad, huh? <laughs> well, we've to be fair, we've been super busy lately. Um, yeah. But uh, 
how are you feeling uh, in terms of like, do you feel rusty at the game or are you still feeling? I don't like feel you rusty. I feel like there's been enough gameplay of it now that I've kind of uh, picked it up, pretty much. I don't think these guys even care that there's a spider bot going around. No, if I remember, you can basically go where you want. Um, they don't like I say. They're probably all pissed. It's fine. No problem. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna go through here. It must just be that I gotta follow the maze until I get to where I'm going. Oh. Pretty much, yeah. You just find your way through. Um. That looks like a collectible. Is that a collectible? No. No. It, it it's a funny little trinket though. I don't know. I think this is somebody's office. I don't know if there's anything interesting in there. All right, I think we're going to be in the room now. That's not what I wanted to do. <gasps> Ugh. Uh-oh. You should be able Doubly to still go back to you. Doubly not what I wanted to do. Where is Yeah, it? you should you it's just to your right um in the blue oh, there it is. highlight. There yeah, yeah. Excellent. All right. So this should stop people from messing with people's brains, I guess. And we oh, uh, we the... need to uh, we need to acquire, acquire the proof, proof of the uh, yeah. I imagine you just need to just explore around the area with the cameras until you find find the proof. I guess uh, there's one proof. There's one proof. This is almost like a point-and-click adventure here. Just got to look around at the, the area, see what options I do have. I'll do this. Okay. And then I'll be able to yeah, look that's, around here. It's one of the things I like about Watch Dogs. Like, the gameplay style changes. Like, one minute it's like an open-world RPG. One minute it's like a point-and-click adventure. One minute it's a puzzle game. And then, you know what I mean? Like, it's never... Really yeah. Like, Never, never just sticks to one gameplay mechanic, which is uh, interesting. Wow. Don't you think this room just looks like a very stereotypical uh, evil villain brainwashing sort of laboratory? Yeah, it reminds me of Clockwork Orange in 2021. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I suppose if I had to level criticism of Watch Dogs, it, it is the fact that it is a bit cheesy sometimes. Like, it's, it's I don't that mind whole it. Yeah, I guess. I don't really mind it being cheesy, though. Yeah, I don't mind cheesy. I think it's fine. Like, sometimes sometimes you're in the mood for a bit of cheese, right? But, you know, yeah. like, like, like Hollywood movies where they're, like, hacking into the system and it's just the Matrix code flying around the screen and it's just, like... Uh, maybe it's just me because I know too much, but like it just—it's not realistic. But I don't know. It's fun. So. Like the hackers in Jurassic Park. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I—I yeah, yeah. I love that. It's hilarious. All right, I think I got this. Okay. Um, the next section. Oh, I don't know. Do you just go to that panel? It seems like I just gotta hack that thing. Maybe I just gotta come down here, toss one of my spider bots up. You can you can go there. You can just walk up to it. Oh, it seems like this guy was positioning himself in a way that he's gonna stop me. Uh, I think he's fine. Oh. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay with it. Okay. I see what you mean, though, because it looks like a VIP area or something like that. But for some reason, sure he's just does. letting anybody in. I don't know. Maybe it's just a slow night. Uh, <laughs> there's not many people in this club, to be fair. So. There is actually a bar at the top of this building as well. So this is... I don't know if it looks like this in real life, the bar, I mean. Um, but yeah. there is actually a bar up there, so... What the hell's going on over here? Oh, this guy's been brainwashed. 
I don't... Uh, just have a look at that again, sorry. I, I'm very... I don't think that's anything... I think I think he's just been triggered into being like a defensive pose because maybe <laughs> this guy though his, you... this guy dominates him. It looks like it 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 looks like it, it looks like he's either kissing his feet or shining his shoes. I I'm not sure what's going on. That's very. Can I talk to them? Very, very odd. No, not generally. All right. Well, I'm I I think that it must have just been for me shoving people like this. Yeah, oh, you just go. triggered one of them. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. So it's one of these puzzle games, you know, where you have to um, spin the pipes around to do the blue yeah. thing. But I'm going to have to do it with these. Okay, yeah, yeah. so... That'll do it. Right, they've really gone all out on this one, haven't they? Just get through that firewall and we can put this clinic out of the business. Okay, oh, one more rotation, maybe? Um, It depends. Yeah, I think that's probably right for the minute. You might need to change it later. Yeah, I like these puzzles. Were you saying that you thought that these ones were annoying? No, no, I like these puzzles. I think they're good. Um, probably one of my favorite little gameplay mechanics in it, to be honest. Um, I think they they I get got more and more. Again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that looks right. Oh no, actually, maybe you. Oh, it... I think now I gotta spin it one more time to send it up. And one more, t yeah, that way, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the, as you. Oh, that's right. Oh, you must have had it right, yeah, because you need to unlock that piece first. So, yeah, that. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The the further you go into the game, the more difficult these puzzles get. Um, they're generally all fun though. The only time they annoy me is when they have like a countdown timer on them. Um. And you've got to do them in a specific time frame that then it can be a bit stressful but oh uh, what happened uh you pressed uh you pressed back out of your uh, drone that you were controlling i did no such thing you did you pressed the b button i didn't i saw so you do it <laughs> it's a glitch in the game all right so let's spin around I think I think you mentioned it on the comment video, but uh, last last time we uh, last video, someone mentioned about is being a pathological liar good for uh, doing improv, and I don't know if you yeah. gave a straight answer. Uh, uh, well, it's possible that I lied about the answer. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. So my wife and I had a conversation about it because she says that I'm not a pathological liar. She says that I'm that somebody that's a pathological liar cannot control it. Uh, I'm not going to out the person, but she then gave an example of one of her friends that she does believe is a pathological liar and cannot control themselves. So uh, I think the difference is, is it, it wouldn't be helpful if you can't control yourself from lying, then you couldn't control yourself from even agreeing with somebody in a scene about the reality that they've established. Does that make sense? Yeah, because because you wouldn't even stick to the narrative of the scene you were yeah. trying to improvise. You'd just make you'd just be talking gibberish, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. But it was really heartwarming to hear her say she didn't think I was a pathological liar. Yeah, for, in in terms of things that you want to hear from your wife, that's probably <laughs> <laughs> one of them. <laughs> yeah, fairly high up on the list. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, this is a tricky one. Yeah, I think you still want to be on the I, uh, or this. Oh, it goes but it goes across the top of the building, so you might want to just move yourself up, up a little well, bit. Well, I went across um, and I opened that one, but now I think I need to keep it going down. I think it's basically you got to keep swapping back and forth because you have to have it coming from two different sides to unlock stuff. So now yeah, I should sense. be able to go over there and unlock that one. I think it's one of those like two steps forward, one step back puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are quite a few of them are like that. Um, so now this one's unlockable. Because I think you need to put it across the roof as well, right? So basically, if you follow, if you go back to the switch, you were. Yeah. You were, uh, yeah. It's got to be the. I think it's got to be up and down, but because I can't have all the directions. 
So you can only have it. So if you put it um, one more again, yeah, leave it like that. And then yeah, if you I go think back this the is other, the way. That way. Okay. Yeah. And I've already unlocked that one, but now I should be able to unlock this one as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where what what the heck have you? Oh, okay. I try. I guess the. I guess I was more lined up with um. What should we call it? With, this, with the spider bot that you just dumped in a in a bush. <laughs> yeah. For some reason. I must have just had that at an angle. There we go. That might be it. Oh no. All right. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Might as well look at this side, see if there's anything there that needs my adjusting. Uh, I think you just need to. Yeah, I think you're done. There it is. Done. You should get out of there before anyone notices. Okay. And I can't Mission just jump success. off there. I got to go through the elevator, right? Uh, sorry. Did you just say this? I can't just jump off the walkie-talkie building. <laughs> Is that is that the I question was debating you were it. Me? Uh, yeah, it was the question I was asking, but in all fairness, it was kind of a rhetorical question. But I could have maybe had one of those construction drones show up, but it was not probably as simple as taking the elevator. Resist, persist, enlist. Oh, you got an achievement or something. But anyway, yeah. Generally speaking, going back to our general conversations about jumping off things. It's yes. not not advisable, especially a building that high. Yeah. Uh oh, it looks like it crashed. Are you still there? I'm still here. Oh boy. It's crashed again. I well, was that's hoping that. Oh, we don't have to do that mission again, do we? So um yeah, here we are back from the crash, and uh, I'm hoping that that uh, progress saved, because I don't really want to do that again. Um, yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So we need to check our mission list. I think I think it's remembered it, though, yeah? I think we're good. I don't know. Um, well, it's, well, it was just popping up. Oh, so yeah, it looks like it's gone. Oh, there we go. And recruited. They still saved that recruit. Why is the guy, there's no picture? <laughs> what the hell? That's weird. <laughs> there should be a, there should be a picture of the operative there. Go, go check our operatives list. Okay. Team. This is the person I just saved when I was uh, helping everybody that was arrested, and this must be the new. Oh, it's the new beekeeper. Okay, Susan is that what Zulu. we went for? Yeah, beekeeper. Yeah. That that is a good name for a beekeeper, Susan Zulu. Yeah, I like it. I'm switching over to her. Granite, she seems like Susan. a pretty niche character. Like Susan Zulu. Maybe there's Zulu. not many opportunities. Yeah, Susan Zulu. That's a mouthful. Off the Try tongue. saying that quickly. Oh, yeah. Susan Zulu. Oh, Susan Zulu. Susan Zulu. Susan Zulu. I quite like the beekeeper because the special ability is ridiculous. I think you'll like the special ability of the beekeeper. It seems like a superhero ability. Pretty much, yeah. Right. It's a bit, it's a bit over the top. So let's uh, start a new mission, should we? Shall we? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's uh, let's make some progress. I think we didn't, we haven't really been pushing through the missions quickly enough. I think so. We probably should do a few, and we've got quite a yeah. few recruits now. So there's nothing, uh, you know. We've got all the main gadgets that we're going to need for now. We can pick up more tick points if we see them. Um, let's see here which yeah. one do you think is this one's 3000 um, ETO so we got a choice really so an Albion mission would be like um, continuing on the quest line where we just try and figure out what's going on with Albion who would like the uh, so the Alb Albion are like the private military police um, yeah. that guy Nigel Cass is the guy who runs it he's basically become de facto ruler of London because he's taken everything over through martial law um, so we can continue looking into that. Or the other thing we can do is the 404 mission. 404 is like a, a fellow hacking group who've just asked asked us to do some uh, uh, some some work for them. So we can do that. It's up to you. 
I'd like to get the tech points. I might as well, because then I can get some more upgrades after this mission. And I feel like I, I want to know who this guy is that's taken over London. I hate okay. putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have so, a uh, I think first thing is we'll need a vehicle. You should try the um, you should try the B B thing out while you're waiting for uh, the mission to uh, tell you where to go. Okay. I think what you do is if you, if you, as long as you don't use it on anybody. I think if you press uh, if you press you know the left uh, weapon wheel, left bumper to get yeah there you go, <laughs> and then you can just launch a swarm of bees at people. Well, now Which they're just all... stuck around me. He'd be an asset if we can find him yeah, they'll just swarm around you until you launch them. So, like, if you want to launch them at the, uh, at the, at the well, anybody, really. Well, I don't, I don't think know. I really want to launch them at anybody, do I? Oh, it's fun. Go on. It's, it's a laugh. Look, that guy who's angrily banging on the door, he deserves it. He deserves oh, it. It's he, too early he, to be banging on somebody's door. Is he, is he Albion, oh. actually? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oop. Okay, well, I guess I didn't learn how to do it right. <laughs> I can't remember exactly. I think you just press... Do you press left? I oh, know. Um, I don't know if it's one of the triggers. Try using, like, um, right trigger. He's a police police guy, by the way, so he might not be... Oh, a, a so good maybe that's not this. the guy. In fact, just doing it in this general area is probably a bad idea. In fact, forget everything I said. Let's just go and do the mission. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous <laughs> now. I, I can't remember how you do the bee swarm, though. It's probably worth learning how to do it. Actually, if we, we're uh, going to the base to attend the team briefing, and when you're in the base, there's like um, mannequins around that you can practice on. So we can oh, practice perfect. on the mannequins in the base. Yeah. Oh, don't go down that street. All right. Maybe this street. Um, I'm trying to remember how... Oh, that's blocked off. I'm trying to remember how to set the uh, the map. I remember you, um, most things, but the map is not working for me. So you, you just open the map up. So, uh, oh, I got to do it with... Yeah, like select this. menu and then... Yeah, uh, map, I was hoping there was a just, quick uh, way. Yeah, I wish there was. It should just do it automatically, really, if it's your active mission objective. But yeah, you've got to do it manually for some reason. Which is a bit strange, but anyway. It's not so bad. We can survive it. Especially if I remember and don't have to search for it later. Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm okay. Oh, boy. Did you see that screen glitch? <laughs> it was weird. It was. The, did you see that? I thought that was just my end. So, yeah, it flickered backwards and forwards for a second. Yeah, I thought odd. I thought it was going to be a crash. No, oh, there's something very fishy going on with your PC today, James. Well, I, actually, there is something fishy going on with your PC. I know this for a fact, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> enough said about that. Um, but I thought that because uh, now I've installed it on my brand new internal drive, uh, I thought it was going to be working better than because so far I've always played it on an external USB three drive, which I thought it was working okay. I mean, there was crashes, but you, I play red. You were playing. You were playing. Sorry, you were playing this on an external hard drive. I was playing this. I was playing every game that I've played in the past probably year. Has been. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> I think that 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 uh, this new drive is making my my skill of steering not as good. But yeah, every game I've been playing for probably the last year has been installed on that external drive. No wonder it took forever to load. You didn't say it was on an external hard drive. You try to load the game through USB. No, we like. I was wondering like why James is load like my get when I load the game up, it loads in about fifteen seconds. James is like two and a half, three minutes just to load the game, and I'm like, what? <laughs> once going it loaded, on? it seemed to generally play okay. Yeah, I suppose that's true. But uh, well, that's the thing with in it. Once you've loaded it, it's in memory, so it's fine. But like. It might have lowered the frame rate while you were driving, while it was loading in assets. I don't know, but uh, 
Maybe, but it seems like the frame rate is lower. Is like it's it seems to be struggling to me now. You're probably only seeing at 15 frames a second, so you can't tell. But it looks like I'm probably getting 30 frames at best a second right now. How much of that is down to the uh, new method of uh, sharing the screen, though, that we're using? Um, it's possible. I don't know. We'll have to try it the other way again later or tomorrow or whatever and just see. Yeah. But anyway. Um, put, put, because we're using Discord to share the screen right now instead of Parsec. Which I kind of thought would be easier on my machine since I'm running Discord anyways. And now I don't even... I, but here's the thing. I don't know if I, if I ended up closing Parsec. I think I did. Yeah, I mean, Parsec isn't going to be... Parsec's very lightweight anyway, um, yeah. I find. And and if it's not doing anything, then it's not using up any resources. So it shouldn't it shouldn't make a difference. Um, but anyway, as long as it's playable enough, we can get through today, hopefully, if it doesn't crash again. Um, yeah. Oh, um, uh, the darts game we never did. We still never did the darts game. <laughs> <laughs> one day Mate, one day <laughs> one day in one the day. final episode we'll just like okay let's do the darts game and just as you're about to throw the dart we'll just cut to the end credits and that's the end of the series <laughs> <laughs> that's what we'll do I really think I'd be best off closing the door behind me before showing the directions to my secret lair yeah it's not the most subtle entry to the secret base is it um, no but yeah, th these mannequins that are on your left and right, we could use those as uh, target practice. Okay. Let's see. So yeah, well, it doesn't I seem like I'm allowed to use the the things here. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe you have to go into the. Uh, there's like a boxing ring you can do for practice then, so we can use that. Um, anyway. Yeah. It, well, we can. I'll show you that quickly first. So like when you enter on the left hand side. Uh, like if you go to your left and then left? through the hall okay. yeah and then down this hallway there oh here's the boxing ring like, yeah you can practice combat in the boxing ring I think uh, possibly somewhere on your left or your right have you done it before or you just assume that's what you do uh no but i'm i I'm, I'm just assuming but i'm sure when we did it at the beginning the guy was no, or wait. whoever it was said um said you can come back and practice anytime i don't know well it'll have to be uh right after we do the darts <laughs> yeah not a big deal we can just carry on with the missions for now all right attending the briefing A brief news briefing. A brief news brief. That sound that sounds like a plug for something, James. I don't know if it that's sure uh... is. <laughs> you can subscribe to Brief News Brief where your local podcasts are found. I don't know what it is. Apple Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh iHeartMedia, uh I think that's all of them. Oh, it's on Google. It's oh, on everything. I, Actually, I've got a genius. I oh well, sorry. You go. You go first, but then I've got a really good idea. Uh, but yeah, go on. Just recently, they've added in Libsy in the place that hosts my podcast. They added the ability to put it on Amazon, so we are now on Amazon also, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, that plays in perfectly to my grand idea. So you know, um, uh, you know these uh, Amazon Echoes that you can buy. Yes. Uh, that, that everybody's got in their living room. Um, you can subscribe to a podcast, right? By just saying uh, whatever. Can you please subscribe to the podcast? Right? And it'll yeah. just go, yeah, I've subscribed to that for you. So here's the thing. Apparently, um, you know, when people talk to this um, personal assistant, like on a video or whatever, if, if the person watching the video owns that particular device, It'll wake up and start listening to what we're saying. Oh, yeah, so it, absolutely. So if I just say, for example, <clears throat> Alexa, subscribe to Brief News Brief. And then you've just picked up 200 did, new subscribers. <laughs> did it, yeah, oh my God, Danny, that is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. That is brilliant. Uh, we're going to have to do that for Google also. Uh, I mean, there's sometimes that words just sound like it, like, um, cause we watch everything on Chromecast at my, like in my house, 
Um, so whenever it hears something, even on the TV, that would be like, I don't know, uh, like hoopla, or like, so I'm trying to think of a word that sounds like it, but sometimes it'll just lower the volume on the TV and start listening afterwards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a few. In the, so sh shall we do Google? Hey, Google, subscribe to Brief News Brief. Oh my there gosh, go. I don't... Few. There's another That's going to be too many subscribers. I'm not ready to grow grow that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, also, I... it, it is also morally dubious what I'm doing there, but uh, I, yes, I, I, I'm going to argue it's it's for comic effect. Um, um, anyway, hey Siri, um, subscribe to Brief News Brief. <laughs> uh, you're gonna. I don't know if you can get in trouble for that. Uh, I probably not, right? Well, um, I don't know, but my Siri just did it. Um, nice. The most re the most recent episode is Biden hearts the earth. Biden hearts the uh, earth. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yes. Biden rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement and a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, there was some other news outside of Biden that was pretty cool for the for I think it's good for the world at at, the, at least the United States. GM has agreed to stop selling any gas powered vehicle by. 2035 that's oh, really? insane that's, that's well considering trump basically said climate change didn't exist that's a pretty pretty big uh it's a huge jump commitment from uh general motors who, who are like i don't know are they like the bit well they're not as big as ford i suppose but they're pretty pretty big i imagine they're pretty big yeah, yeah, they're pretty right. big. I don't know if they sell a lot of General Motors cars overseas, but, I mean, we buy overseas cars, so I can't imagine that they don't have uh, Well, uh, yeah, I suppose where I know them from is, like, they make um, big industrial engines, don't they? Like, locomotive stuff and, and all that I kind think of thing, so. Don't I'm, I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> if you're saying know, you're but... more familiar with buying things like freight trains, then I think you're a crazy guy. Dude. Well, uh, uh, I, I, don't buy, I don't buy them. I just know about them. Um, <laughs> you know a lot about like really industrial like vehicles and engines um yeah i mean secretly i'm sir topham hat in my spare time <laughs> um but you know yeah no i don't know i just like engineering stuff I, i'm a bit of a weird person we all uh, have you to have played, a hobby right you played uh the you're a big fan of the the what is it the train simulator yeah, train sim, train sim world, and train simulator twenty twenty one, and all that stuff. But I play other stuff like Euro Truck Simulator, flight simulator. Yes. I quite like simulators, so um, I've never I played, played American any of them Truck on Simulator. Head. Yeah, America. I played that as well. I did. I, I was debating doing a stream on American Truck Simulator um, for um, you know for the elections and stuff, but then it all got a bit charged, and I was like, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna bother, but um, but yeah, um, yeah, American Truck Simulator is good. You know what? Those games are good because I don't know why, but there's just something very zen about it, right? So like, you just put on yeah. like the country and western channel, and then you just drive through the desert, and it's just very, yeah, it's all right. You know, I don't know, something, something uh, about it. I they like have it. one that starts right off, uh, like right by my apartment, and it goes, you know, not by my apartment, really closer to the West Side Comedy Theater. But you drive up the coast, and it's, like, really legit. It's pretty good. Not quite as legit as, you know, Watch Dogs Legion is of London. But, because it's missing a lot of real stuff. But it does have a lot of iconic places. Yeah, is this, is well, this an I American Truck I found the game to be kind of difficult. Yeah, American Truck Simulator. Yeah, I found, I don't know, because obviously I don't have a frame of reference, but I found with Euro Truck Simulator... It seems realistic enough, but like everything's very like compressed down, so like it doesn't take as long as it should to go like a particular distance, and like every like a lot of big chunks of like the world is cut out and whatever. So it's not it's not like a one to one scale representation of. You yeah, know what I mean, like it's yeah. Yeah, I know it's exactly good, what you mean, but it's pretty close. Have we um, have we arrived at our destination yet? We have. I'm a little concerned that this, while well, she's really cool. Oh, James, 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 James. This is this what? is the Assassin's Creed. This is the Assassin's Creed Easter egg uh, mission. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, is it? So who should yes. is this the one? Is this the character I should be using? Um, there's I mean, a the lot of combat. Look like a... 
there's a lot of combat in this mission, so we want to pick somebody who's um, got uh, got some good weapons. So she's probably not the best person. We might want to... Have we got anyone with a good weapon, like an AK or something like that? I doubt that we have somebody with an AK. Uh, let's see. Or uh, somebody with... A nail gun? No, I wouldn't bother. Um... I, th I I hate to say it, but I think um, I think Danny might be the best one for this mission. If I'm honest, um, he's got because he's, he's got, got an actual semi. gun instead of a stun gun. Yep. Also, he's pretty dispensable. <laughs> I, I hate to say he's it, but not, he's pretty. He's... Danny, you're not. He's dispensable. the worst. He's well, thank you, but he's got the worst perks of all our characters, so he is in this situation. Okay, he's not dispensable. Well, he, he is a hero who will sacrifice his life if necessary for the good of the cause. That's true. That is 100% true. I hope it doesn't make me come back over here. No, you'll be in the same place. Okay, good. Nope. There she goes. I'd like to get a helmet like that so I could get the, you know, AR technology. Yeah. It's a very odd outfit to be walking around London in, to be fair. But uh, anyway. So this guy only has one piece of tech. She had two pieces of tech. Can I add a second tech piece to him? No, the only reason she had two is because it was a special ability. So certain characters have special tech abilities and they can be used uh. as a second tech piece. But um, you can't just equip two to any character. Um, and you can't change what that character's special tech piece is. Um, so yeah, this is why this, char this character basically, he's got a semi-auto, which is okay, but like he doesn't do anything else. Um, so... Uh, yeah, there's two ways to get... Well, we did this last time, uh, a couple of videos ago. You can either use yeah. the, um, the window washer lifts or you can use the cargo drone, but anyway. Um, I think this cargo drone will probably be the best bet for me. Oh, yeah, it'll certainly be quicker. Okay. I'm, gl I'm glad we finally get to see the Assassin's Creed Easter egg, though. That's, uh... Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, well... Basically, what's about to happen is, you know that rooftop we were on last time where, when we tried to do the Easter egg? This one right here. here? Yeah, exactly. When you've finished, you finished hacking the server, you'll need to get down again. So you can either get down uh -huh. the boring old way of going down through the, with the cargo drone on the list, but instead, if you just walk to the edge and press X, it'll do the Assassin's Creed Easter egg. Um, so if you jump off there okay. and hack the, hack the old server, it's a physical hack. It's a physical hack? It's a physical. Let's, Let's get, get physical. 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 <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> All right. So, uh, root kit deployed. Ooh, we're going through the net. Hacking into the system. This guy, oh yeah. This guy likes his traps. I'm on it. Right, so I guess the you know first what the, thing is this. I, I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you a story, and it's not a very nice story, but it is a real story. Um, a few years ago, when I used to work for a, a repairs and maintenance company, I won't name the name of the company, um, we went out to this house once um, to do some repairs. Well, I didn't personally, but I had to go and inspect it all afterwards. And um, for some reason, we, we turned up at this... Um, this like tenant's house to do some repairs and for whatever reason this tenant um had intentionally rigged up a trap at the front door so basically they like made like a massive bundle of like used needles um and sort of taped them all together into a big ball and then rigged it up um so that when you open the front door it would swing forward and just hit whoever was opening the door um, and just stab them in the chest with all these hypodermic needles. Um, wow. Yeah, it's a pretty fucked up thing to do, right? Um, no kidding. And I, I never really found out why they did that or what was wrong with them or any of that stuff. But um, yeah, for some reason, whenever I see this, it just reminds me of that. And I, it, it's always just, it's a bit uncomfortable. I, I just, um, yeah, I didn't enjoy that day because I was like, yeah, like I didn't thankfully. enjoy that day. That's a funny way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I, I I have a I have a penchant for understatement, but um, thankfully nobody got hurt or anything. But like, 
yeah, I don't know. Just it scares me sometimes. Like people do some fucked up things, you know. Like it's really, really not good. But anyway, um, what is going on? There we go. All right. You can, so um, I needed you... to go. Uh, okay, you'd have okay. to turn it. Hold on. Well, you can only make it. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. You can do that. And then... That should work. And then this. Oops. Okay, and then this will unlock. Hmm. I'm wondering if I, I need now, to go back around this corner. Um, I think now you've unlocked it and made it go across. You can now turn, um, yeah, point that a different. Well, that that one you can make go upwards. So, um, yeah, that one turn again and again. Okay, and then I and need to then, turn this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn that, that one that way. And then turn the other pipe around so that it's... Um... Oh, actually, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So this is coming all the way over here, and I need this to work. So this should be... That has then to go that red. way. It has to. Can you make... Can you Where make... is the source of this coming from? Oh. I see what's happening. I need to actually use this to send it up that other area. So now... This is going to go... I think... Let's break this down. Wait. Wait. It, yeah, it needs to come in at three places. So, I think if you leave it, if you rotate the bottom piece there, um, down the one that's closest to you. Yeah, if you turn that one, and then turn the other piece again. Yeah, the the, the one. one in the yeah, turn that one, and then turn the the. Yeah, turn that one. So that that that's okay. Now this too. unlocks. Yep. Okay. Okay. And now if I switch this, I should be able to unlock this. All right. And then maybe rotate it this way. Yeah. And then you can flip flip all these so that it's coming like you would. You know when you said before about it needs to go that way. Yeah. yeah so that one was fine the way it was. Oh, there you go. Now, yep, perfect. Oh. Is that it? Disarming yeah, trap? Yep. All right. Good job, James. It's Assassin's Creed time. Okay. So in theory, if you walk up to the edge of the... Uh, of oh, there I didn't pass. even have to push anything. It just kind of put me into it. Oh, boy. Did you hear that echo? Yeah, one second. It's Morgan. <laughs> Mor Mor Morgan's here for some reason. Morgan, what are you doing? This is not your series. Go back to your own series. <laughs> Did he accidentally join us? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I think he's disappeared again. But yeah, for some reason, Morgan just dropped into our uh, Discord chat there. I will make sure the to, timing um, couldn't have been better. Right where, right when we're doing the Assassin's Creed mode. I, I know. I was looking at, I was looking at the Discord just to get rid of whoever it was, and then um, I missed the Assassin's Creed Easter egg. Did it work though? It sure did. Uh, it sure so, yeah, did. I've, have you I've, seen it yet? I've seen it before, yeah. But um, okay, I feel, good. I feel, I feel validated. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> that's right, uh, so that's made made it all worthwhile. I think. Mm-hmm. That does not seem like the door that would enter into this room. Yeah, is that even the same flat that we... Oh, it no, must just the, be cutting that... to a different door. Yeah, that door over there was the one with the... 
I don't know. You're right, though. It doesn't quite look the same like the same place. It was it? like a double door that he went in through downstairs outside, and then this single door. Oh, yeah, but this is an apartment. He's in an yeah. apartment building, so obviously he's just gone through in fact, we're more like the through the building to this apartment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think he lives in the whole building. I could be wrong. You know when you see something with a flashing red light on it, that generally uh, signifies trouble. You didn't buy me very much time. What? Yeah, well, what was that about with... not jumping off buildings? <laughs> uh, I know. Well, uh, it's a cutscene, but yeah, don't don't do it just because the cutscene did it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to run. I assume, right? I don't just. Um. It, yeah, I, I I would advise it, but they're, they're all gonna start shooting at you, and they're, they're gonna be very angry. Um, <gasps> oh my God! It's a dead end. No, it's not a dead end. Okay. This this entire area is kind of a dead end, though. The one what? potential solution is if there's if there's a boat around, you could try and get away on boat. Um, what happened to the... that? Uh, that oh, jeez. Or you could just swim away from danger. Um, sorry, what happened to what? Uh, I had that construction drone. Where was it? Um, oh I don't I don't know, but I wouldn't try and find it because you'll get killed. Just keep moving. That's the that's the that's the key. You need to just keep moving. Um, oh, that guy didn't see me. Moving. Thankfully not. Um, maybe just try and yeah, like. Is that a bad guy? No. Um, alleyway. Oh, I, I did it. Away from... I passed the wow. mission. That was pretty slick. I am I am pretty surprised you did as well as you did there. <laughs> <That's>, um, <laughs> me too. Yeah, I I I actually had a bit of difficulty with that mission. So. Um... Well, I wish uh, yeah. I could have made the walkthrough video for you. You know. <sighs> anyway. Oh, there it is. Pretty slick escape. Everybody agrees. <laughs> I think uh, I think that might be a good place to end the video. I don't know what you think. Um... <laughs> I think so. I think that's a pretty... I mean, it's starting a brand new mission right away, right? Yeah, it always does. But we'll we'll let this little cutscene play out, and then we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll end the video. But um, yeah, well done, James. That's two missions done today. We recruited a beekeeper, uh, Assassin's Creed Easter egg, and a very slick guy away at the end. No deaths. Um, no deaths. I don't. I haven't died a single time this whole playthrough so far. Um, yeah, surprise it. What, what are we on now? Like episode seven, episode eight, and we haven't um, we haven't permadeathed any of our characters yet. Um, yeah. I think it's looking positive, you know. Like, I mean, it, it, the game is going to get harder, but um, I think you're following the difficulty curve pretty well so far. So I think um, I think we're in a good I think we're in good shape. Anyway, uh, so thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I was trying to listen. I was listening to this story, but I'm a little distracted too. Uh, generally, it just seems like I've uh, I'm gonna have to learn the story from you, Danny, because I've kind of lost track of some of what's going on. Okay, but uh, I'll yeah, just like... let's wrap the video. You, you were right. Your instincts were right. I'm sorry I interrupted the the video wrap. Oh no, it's my fault. I can't hear the dialogue properly, and I didn't realize uh, I didn't realize oh, was still talking. Oh, do you not uh, hear any of the sound? Um, I can hear it faintly, but I can't hear it very well. Um, oh. so, but that's, so that's my fault. But anyway, the the story of what just happened effectively is you broke into uh, you broke broke into this guy's flat. The guy used to work for that Nigel Cass guy, the guy who owns Albion, um, but he's defected because he doesn't agree with his uh, shady practices or whatever. Um, 
and then um, you know you found the guy, and then he disarmed the traps, and then the police came in, and uh, yeah, now you've got to go and find him. Um, Balaji, I think his name is. Anyway, that's where we're up to. I'll keep you posted, but uh, you know. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, and we should have done this at the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna plug it right now. We've got a new, improved relaunched patreon with several different tiers uh there is no pressure for you to join and support but if you were thinking to yourself you wanted to find a way to support Gamefront, i think that's a great way to do it uh yeah um yeah new patreon it's 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 like the old patreon but new and improved what i mean some of the perks we've got on there like um uh, money off uh, merchandise, um, free merchandise depending on the level. We've got like early access to videos. Um, uh, if you're on like the the middle tier or above, you can do like hangouts on uh, Google Hangouts with us and stuff. Uh, Morgan and uh, James and all that kind of. There's loads of stuff. So um, yeah, but again, no pressure, no pressure. And um, no don't pressure. forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Brief News Brief. Um, oh yes, and, yes, uh, yes. 